Alright. What's up guys? So I'm here with my friend John, um, and we are working on the exhaust, as I said earlier. Uh, John, care to explain uh, what we got going on here? Alright. How you doing, fellas? Uh, this is a 2002 Mazda Protégé 5. I compete in the PPIR Time Attack series, which means I push this thing very heavily. And <laughs> as after this last event, I learned that I blew out the entire front end of my exhaust. I have uh, an exhaust leap at the top of my exhaust manifold here, one between uh, the manifold and the cat, and then another one on the downstream J-pipe into my uh, catalytic converter. And after going underneath there and finding all the rust and awful destroyed flanges, I decided I'm, it's better off just ripping everything out and replacing it with a whole new system. And that's what I'm going to be doing today. All right, for sure, man. Thanks. All right. Let's, uh, let's get down to business. Let's do this. <laughs> Ready. So with some time and frustration, a little bit of frustration, we managed to get the the cat off. <laughs> yeah, here it is. You know, it's been in the vehicle ever since uh, the thing shipped over from Japan. Still got its all its original heat shielding and everything. Uh, the cat is actually still all right. I wouldn't put my money on it because I mean, occasionally when I push my car, it smells like eggs. It's just going out. <laughs> but uh, the biggest piece of concern is right here. These are the remnants of the connector flanges which cause the blowout. You're supposed to take these off and the spring unloads the system you can just slide it out but that wasn't the case. It's dead. <laughs> and God damn. All that remains is to put in the uh, new pipe right here. Yeah. Oh yeah. Have my new bolts with the springs here and uh, the headers uh, which is the the real piece I'm looking forward to putting in. Uh, that, that comes in a little later. Alright, so we got the, uh, now the manifold. <laughs> but we got that off finally, it took a little bit to get the, that's the, that was the cat that we were working on, wasn't it? Right yeah, over the, here? Yeah, uh, the pre-cat there, yeah. Yeah, the pre-cat. Alright, so we got that off. Of course, here's the exhaust manifold, solid piece of machinery. There were no actual chips or leaks on it, except for the fact that half the uh, gasket scored onto it, so there's where part of the leak was. Nothing, nothing at the uh, exhaust ports itself. Uh, and then of course, you know, the big turd itself here. This cat was going out. Now, if, if I, I think I shook it earlier and I felt some rattling in it, which meant it fell apart. And, uh, um, of course, I couldn't find the big leak. There's a, I think there's like a hole in here somewhere, but of course, here's the other part where the flanges snapped off. There should be flanges here where bolts go through. Right. That's, it's, it's far gone. There's no, uh, no saving that. Uh, there, here's where a bolt snapped off where I tried to remove it from underneath the car. It's just it's just just an oily turd. <laughs> Paperweight. Yeah, out with the old. And with the new. Alrighty, so the header is just kinda loosely in place here. Just kinda that's where it's gonna be. Of course, here's the hardest part right here, the EGR bung. Everyone always talks about that for uh, installing the headers on, uh, on a P5. It's just a pain, but figured out. Yeah. Uh, the, the thing's all out. I just got to get some new hardware for my uh, exhaust spring here. The bolts that were on are just rusted and just, they're, they're, they're far gone. They're on that system over there, but I'm just going to go grab new bolts and really it should just be just bolting after this. Alright guys, we got the uh, the bolts that we needed, we got the shit that we needed, and we're making our way back to John's place, and we're gonna get this shit taken care of now, so, mm -hmm. yeah. Go for it. Alright, we're gonna start her up. You're good. <laughs> All right, let's swoop down here and see what we got going on. Yeah, 
God damn, you were dripping. Look at that. Fuck. <laughs> I don't think I hear any exhaust leaks though. Found the problem. Where is it? A bolt went missing. Oh god. Let me just turn on my flashlight. Ah, oh, there we go. Yep. See it? Wait, is my flashlight even on? Yeah, there it is. Yep, right there. Oh fuck, now it's all blurry. <laughs> yeah, pretty much uh, yeah. a lot of force or something was uh, spooling through my cooling system. And I guess it shot off one of the bolts. Alright, now we're getting ready to take her for a little spinny spin. Just hope nothing blows up. <laughs> yeah, let's definitely hope for that. It doesn't sound nearly as bad as it used to. Actually, it sounds nice. Sounding nice, feeling nice. Except for that rasp. I got that ricer rasp. <laughs> Alright, now we're gonna go ahead and take her down a busier road and uh, see how well she pulls when we're going a little bit harder. Sounds like shit. You gotta retighten. Yeah. It. <laughs> feels nice. It does. It feels wonderful. All right, guys, just wrapping up this video. Um, it was it was a nice learning experience. <laughs> so, yeah. That being said. I am driving back home now. I'm probably gonna go sleep before I go to work at six. Guys, thanks for watching. Peace.